Put your hands up if you predicted this. I just wanted to put this video out just to uh, explain to mostly our brides, but uh, just other people where we are as a business. So obviously it's having a massive effect uh, through not just uh, our industry, but you know, pubs are, uh, well, pretty much all hospitality has been closed down. Um, I would suspect that the government is gonna put the country into lockdown this week uh, after all the obviously pictures and videos we've seen of people shopping and in parks. Currently, we've had to postpone um, all of our weddings in March and April, so doing nothing through that period. Uh, five of which we've managed to move to dates uh, later this year, um, maybe one or two for next year. One of them we've had to completely cancel, unfortunately. Uh, May, uh, we've so far postponed two out of the four. Um, both we can do, albeit for one of them we've had a clash of dates, so we've brought in another videographer who's going to shoot it for us and we'll edit the rest. Nothing's changed in June of the month, but we've had one postponement uh, for July, who's moved that to the same date next year. So at the moment, it's not been too bad compared to what I've heard on you know all social media and, and things like that. But I'm thinking that May and June are probably going to suffer uh, the same fate, really. You know, hopefully uh, they can be moved to uh, newer dates because I know that venues have been quite accommodating into giving them a lot of opportunities, um, and then they can pick and choose and sort of run it by all their uh, suppliers to hopefully get as many as they can, or at least their dream team to uh, still uh, take part in their wedding. Now, in regards to what we're going to do in this downtime, um, me and Lisa have been trying to keep herself isolated. Well, we've been doing it for over a week now, even before any of the closures and lockdowns, um, just to keep ourselves healthy. Uh, maybe not sane. Boredom is quickly starting to take over. There's only so much Netflix and Prime you can watch. Luckily, Disney Plus is starting tomorrow, so I'm going to try and binge on that. And to feed my sort of creative needing, uh, at the weekend, we rung around a few people and did a... Um, uh, a wedding supplier's uh, karaoke, uh, which went down quite well. And just as I'm filming this, we just had an email through from one of our brides for May, who is postponing it to next year. So I'm quickly going to check the date. We can do that locally, so that'd be good news for her. And we've been sort of documenting our time in isolation, just making short films, just so um, we're not scrolling through social media and depressing ourselves with all the statistics that are out there at the moment. Personally, I've been video calling or chatting on the phone with um, a lot of people within our industry just to check that they're okay, you know, because it's easy to get down in the dumps in a situation like this, especially when uh, boredom starts to creep in, there's nothing to do, there's no work on, there's no money coming in. Reaching out can make a difference really, and just just put a smile on someone's face just for a few minutes. There isn't really going to be much to update um, in regards to any wedding videography news. Um, I, if there's anything, any changes uh, within our business, I will try to keep you updated. Uh, do stay safe, stay indoors, no matter what you think anyone else is doing.